One of the greatest watches of all time is definitely the Garmin Venue 2. And it's almost been a year since this bad boy was released. So what are we going to do today? We will see if it's still worth getting this sport slash smartwatch in the year of 2022. What makes it so great if you compare it to other watches like the Fossil Gen 6, the Galaxy Watch 4 or the Apple series and just the general things that I noticed during my one year of testing. Now I didn't wear 365 days but I wore it a whole lot given the fact that I'm wearing a new smartwatch just about every week. So the V2 was released in April 2021 and it was instantly one of the best watches on the market even though it was very expensive with a price of 399 euros. Now during this last year it got trimmed down to about 350 depending on where you buy it but it's still a whole lot of money. So what do we get for that price? First off, we get a fine looking watch with a 1.3 inch color touch display with a resolution of 416 by 416 pixel. So all the colors look vivid and text are sharp. Even on a bright sunny day, it's easy to read the display. As you can see, we have a smooth 22 mm silicon strap, a plastic case and a stainless steel bezel that tempers just a little bit off towards the edges of the watch. As well as we have two physical buttons on the side of the watch with which we can get to our workout section or settings in general. Now what makes this sport watch so great besides of the specs? And one of the reasons is the battery life. Compared to all of the other watches, this watch lasts way longer with up to 11 days in the smartwatch mode. Other watches only last about 5 days at most. Now to be perfectly honest, if you want to have the best smartwatch experience, you of course have to toggle on all of the health features and stuff like that, like the all day SPO2 tracking, the always on display mode and stuff like that. And with all of that toggled on, and about one GPS 30 minute workout, you get about three days, which is still great. Now, if you compare it to Fossil Gen 6, that only lasts about one day, and other watches such as the Apple Watch Series 7 or the Galaxy Watch 4 only lasts about two days. By the way, charging it from zero to 100% also only takes about one hour. The next thing I would like to talk about is the accuracy of the built-in GPS and the health stats. And during all of my smartwatch testing time, there haven't been many watches that are that accurate, and most of the other ones are still from the Garmin brand. Don't matter if I'm walking in some open place, in the forest or even in the city, the GPS is pretty accurate. There might be a few bumps in the lines here and there when you're in the city, but compared to other smartwatches, it's way ahead. Also other features such as the step counter, the heart rate and the sleep tracking are very accurate as well. Now as for the step counter, it was only off by like 1-2% to in all of my tries. The heartbeat was only off by like 2 beats on average as I was comparing to my Garmin chest band and the sleep tracker works great. Not only does it track your SP2 level during the night, respiration rate and movement, but it also tracks for how long you've been in different sleep stages. Now I cannot say how accurate that is, but the time it gives me when I wake up and fall asleep seems to be alright. Alright, one of the features I personally love the most is offline music via Spotify. I mean you can also download apps like Amazon Music or Deezer, but Spotify is the way to go. So once your account is hooked up with your smartwatch, you can start downloading tracks, podcasts and whole playlists directly to your watch and listen to them offline. Which is great whenever you want to go for a run outside and don't have to take your smartphone with you. So all you need is your smartwatch and earbuds and you're set. Now a few things that I noticed is that the silicon strap does not itch or stick to your skin. The auto pause function is great and you are able to have some customized workout screens. So you can decide whether you only want to see your heart rate and time or more metrics like your mileage, bearing calories, pace, speed and stuff like that. Okay guys, this watch is not great and there are a few things that are missing that you probably need a little bit more than I do. And one of those things is a mic and a speaker. So the only thing you can do on this watch once you receive a call is to answer and decline it. And after that you have to take out your smartphone to talk to that person. Another thing that you do not get since you have no bit of mic in the speaker is a voice assistant. And I think a voice assistant is probably one of the best features that you can get on a smartwatch. I normally use mine to set a timer so I don't forget to take off my pasta after like 10 minutes or call a friend right quick if my smartphone is not nearby. But besides that, it's still a great smartwatch. By the way, I did a review about the Garmin Venue 2 Plus and this one has all of these features. So if you're interested in that, I will leave the link down in the description below so you can get right to it. Also hit the like button right quick and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and keeps me going. And one thing that we really have to talk about is the price. And I know in the beginning of the video I said it got trimmed down to only like 350 euros. But 350 euros is still a lot of money. That's more than YouTube pays me a month. Now 
If you would ask me if I would recommend this watch, I would only say yes if you're really into sports and need a very accurate GPS and health tracking. But if you do not need all of these features, I would suggest a cheaper watch like the Fossum Gen 6. A few things that I just have to mention about the sport watch is that unlike the Apple series or the Galaxy Watch 4, this watch is compatible with just about every smartphone if it's iOS or Android. Also this watch is available in two different sizes so you can either get the Garmin Venue 2 with a 45mm case or you can get the Garmin Venue 2S which has a 40mm case. And as for last, you can download all kinds of third party apps. So you might not get the same as on the Google Play Store, but in the Garmin IQ Connect Store, there are quite a few to choose from, of which most of them are watch face or sport specific. And folks, that's already it. So hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, give me a high five, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.